Good morning, and welcome to today's episode of Catholicity with Mr. Norino at Home for Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. It's too beautiful outside to stay filming in my basement, so we're going to try something new. Today is the optional memorial for Our Lady of Fatima. The story of Our Lady of Fatima is actually quite interesting. The story of a famous miracle in Fatima, Portugal began in May 1917 when three children, who were 7, 9, and 10, claimed to have encountered the Virgin Mary on their way home from tending a flock of sheep. The oldest girl, Lucia, was the only one to speak to her and Mary told the children that she would reappear to them on the 13th day of the next six months. Then she vanished. It was Mary's final appearance on October 13, 1917 that became the most famous. In his book, Looking for a Miracle, Joe Nichol states that an estimated 70,000 people were in attendance at the site anticipating the Virgin's final visit. And with many fully expecting that she would work a great miracle, as before, the figure appeared, and again only to the children, identifying herself as the Lady of the Rosary. She urged repentance and the building of a chapel at the site. After predicting an end to World War I and giving the children certain undisclosed visions, the lady lifted her hands to the sky. Thereupon, Lucia exclaimed, The sun! As everyone gazed upward and saw that a silvery disc had emerged from behind the clouds, they experienced what is known as a sun miracle. Not everyone reported the same thing. Some that were there claimed that they saw the sun dance around in the heavens. Others said the sun zoomed towards Earth in a zigzag motion that caused them to fear that it might collide with our planet, or more likely burn it up. Some people reported seeing brilliant colors spin out of the sun like a psychedelic pinwheel pattern, and thousands of others present didn't see anything unusual at all. This is a miracle credited to Our Lady. To learn more about Our Lady of Fatima and a myriad of other saints, stay tuned for our new series coming out called Building Our Faith, All You Holy Men and Women, premiering middle of next week. We'll begin today in the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have changed my mourning into dancing, O Lord, and have girded me with joy. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that, persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further, more effectively, each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters. And they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to today's psalm is, Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced, because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. 
according to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we come to our prayer after communion, we remember one very important thing. Although we're not able to partake in physical communion at Mass with our parish brothers and sisters under the instruction of our parish priest, we remain in spiritual communion. Spiritual communion. I've mentioned it before. If you're not quite sure what that means, that's your task for today. Look up what spiritual communion means and how we can still receive Christ in these pandemic times when unable to partake in the Eucharist together. How can we do that? What does that mean? And so we do our prayer after communion, after we request to be in spiritual communion. Let us pray. Renewed by this paschal sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we honor the memory of the mother of your Son. May show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Please don't forget, remain in me as I remain in you. Be vigilant. Be constantly in spiritual communion. In these times, be consistent and reflect on the gospel. We'll see you tomorrow. shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander for safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words to foreign lands and all will understand you shall see the face of God and live be
Trust in the Lord. God is with you. Fear is not an option. Pray without ceasing. Don't lose hope, guys. I trust in you. Be not afraid. 